Dillon, Casey Glakehorn, Converge Gallery. We're, gonna, we're here at Fountain Arts Festival 2013. As you can see, it's they just opened up the floodgates. About ready to get. It's about it's about to get weird up in here. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do before it gets too busy is uh, give you a brief tour of our booth. Um, follow me. So we're gonna walk through here real quick. Start with um, Seth Goodman, there. And, uh, one of our stronger, uh, one of the very old masters paintings, uh, very good stuff. And then we have uh, Jeremiah Johnson and his maximalist works and his credit card. Uh, houses made out of credit card applications that are actually uh, addressed to him, which have been very popular uh, over the last uh, year. We also have some more works by Jeremiah on paper, which are actually the print works. Um, of course, we'll start with Matthew Rose right here. And uh, this is probably one of my favorite pieces that Matthew Rose does. Um, it's a box that has piss written on it. it that's, that's all I'm gonna say. It's just called piss. Um, so when you talk about Matthew Rose, we wanna talk about collage. Collage and conceptual. Uh, Matthew's all about. Great, great works. And then uh, another powerhouse is uh, Timothy Allen Miller, or as we like to call him, Clockwork Box. Brand new works, never before, never before seen before here, showcased at Fountain Arts, Arts Fair 2013 at Converge Gallery booth. As you can see, uh, we're going to keep going. We have uh, one of my favorite graffiti artists. Her name's uh, Keely. And as you can see, she has a piece hanging all the way up here, uh, up on the banister. With all the great graffiti artists uh, up there, and here we have one of her pieces. We're the only booth in uh, Fountain Art Fair showing her stuff, along with Brent Malesko, Matthew Ryan Sharp, and another Brent Malesko. Another new uh, face to uh, the Converge Gallery roster is Ann Piper. Great works on paper, love her stuff. And then, uh, of course, everybody's favorite, Liz Parrish, and her quirky narrative paintings. People have been asking me all day. Uh, what is the deal with these? And I say, listen, if you talk to this cute little quirky girl, uh, she's a little gothy, she just comes up with this stuff. You ask her about her cat, she's going to tell you it has a dunce cat, and everybody makes fun of it, pokes fun of it, and that's, that, and that's her dream. She uh, paints what she thinks about, and she comes up with all this stuff herself. Then we have uh, Casey Snyder, uh, kind of surrealist, kind of a very, very, very nice works. And I did, however, squeeze some more Timothy Allen Millers in here. Great stuff, the actual loving stuff. This is a uh, new artist, uh, William Pashada. Gina. Um, great works. Love it. It's been very popular. Those people are loving it. Of course, uh, Howard Tran is the man of the hour. Um, and if we back up right here, we're going to see why he's the man of the hour. Um, what we have here is a huge, huge head made out of rice bags. Everybody that's walking by it is taking a look inside the ear uh, because what we have in there is video playing. It's all really good stuff. Very popular stuff. And uh, Adam Payne, who is a conceptual artist doing, actually, people don't know this, but these are actual weapons. I could throw this at your face and totally mess you up right now. It's not going to do that though because I want you to come back and buy some artwork off me. Another. Uh, Williamsport artist. Uh, he's not from Williamsport. He's actually from, I forget where he's from, but I know he's spent a lot of time in New York. Morris Charles Miller, Fluxus uh, Drawings. I have about 40 of his works on paper right now, and we have two of them here framed. Um, but yeah, this is our booth, and um, you know, here we are in New York City. And uh, as you can see, there's uh, some naked girls walking around with uh, toilets up there. Uh, it's uh, pretty crazy. New York City, baby. See ya.